TFNN. Headline News Update. Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Tommy O'Brien, coming to you live from TFNN headquarters in St. Petersburg, Florida, 2 p.m. Eastern time on Monday, two hours left to go in the trading day. We got a pretty calm market out there. Markets hanging in negative territory. Dow Jones, negative 23 points, trading at 26,389. We got the S&Ps negative by three points, trading at 29.04. NASDAQ negative by 22 points, trading at 79.62. And the Russell right now negative by six points, trading at 15.78. We start off the update this afternoon, checking in on the VIX, and as we've seen this market creep back to close to flat territory, VIX 1257. Quite a number, very low volatility, as you would expect in this market. Let's jump over the futures. We'll jump through some of these charts. We'll start it off with the Dow. So we trade lower for most of the day until right about noon. We make a low in the Dow, 26,317. We're now approaching about 100 points from that level, climbing 23,000, excuse me, 26,390. NASDAQ 100, pretty similar chart. This morning, we're up there at high 7657. NASDAQ 100 trades down to 7600 on the dot, makes it to 7599, and from there we bounce 7636 in the NASDAQ 100. S&Ps trade lower for the morning as well. Lows at 1045, back down there right at around noon, pretty much around 2901. S&Ps currently trading 2908. Crude oil volatility as well. We're up there at a high of 6387 just after 10 a.m. this morning. We trade down to 63.20 at about 11.30 and currently sitting at 63.52. Gold contract catching a bit of a bid from 9.30. We trade from 12.85 up to 12.93. Gold sitting at 12.91.26 and Euro US dollar trading 113.02. In terms of earnings season, we're in it. Citigroup this morning, earnings beat expectations amid buybacks, but revenues fall. Goldman, pretty much the same story as they beat on estimates for first quarter profit while the markets impacted revenue. We'll see what happens when, in terms of what impacted what, but nonetheless, Goldman Sachs down 2.9%, quite a number city. Down, ah, I was gonna say, getting a bit of a bid, down barely, negative only four cents. We get some of the other Banks for the rest of this week, Morgan Stanley down almost 1%, Bank of America down just more than 1%, and tomorrow we get Netflix down 2.2%, extending those losses from Friday. Stay tuned, folks. Dave White coming up right now. We got a treat. Steve Rhodes live at 3 o'clock, and Dave White back at 4. Have a great Monday, everybody. It's amazing to think that Tom O'Brien started his weekly gold report 17 years ago with the first issue published April 7th, 2002, when gold was trading at under $300 per ounce. Gold peaked at more than $1,900 in 2011, and after spending many years consolidating at lower prices, gold may be poised for its next big run. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, South African RAND, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. As of April 1st of this year, the Gold Report currently has eight active positions with an average unrealized profit of almost 8% per cent 